Ladies and boys and girls, in this video I will show you how to edit like Devin Jado in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first, go to new item, sequence, horizontal 1080 and vertical 9020. So let me add a video into the timeline. Let me adjust the scale and position. Now I'm going to add a mobile image into the timeline. So I'm going to nest this mobile layer. Double click on this nest sequence. So let me add a video below this mobile image. Go to effects and uncheck scale. Let me adjust the scale width and scale height. Now go back to main sequence. As you can see, there are some extra transparent elements over here. So I didn't cut the image correctly in Photoshop. So no worries, double click on this in a sequence. Let me add a black video so that I can see better. Select the mobile image. And under opacity, select this rectangle tool. Create a mask like this. Delete the black video. Now go back to main sequence. Select this rectangle shape tool and create a shape like this. Go to effects, under shape, change fill color to black. Under shape, select this rectangle mask tool and create a shape like this. Place it at the bottom, increase mask further. Select the sequence and slightly change the rotation. So decrease the scale size and set keyframe for position. Place it to the right. Go few frames forward and place it to the left, like this. Select both keyframes, temporal interpolation, or to base here. Now I want this mobile to go up and down, so like a wiggle effect. So I will place this playhead over here and position slightly down. Go again few frames and position up. Now I am going to add a number count on green screen video over here. So go to effects and add ultra key. Right click, speed duration, change speed to 2000. So copy this green screen video and double click on this in a sequence. Paste the green screen video and place it on top. So let me add an arrow image. I just push it on scale. Let me set a position keyframe over here. So go a few frames over and position to the left. So using type tool, I'm going to add a ledger over here. Now let me delete the unwired portions. Now go back to main sequence and delete this green screen video. Now we don't need this. Nest all these layers except the mobile image and video. Go to effect controls and place the playhead over here. Set keyframe for opacity. Go few frames forward and opacity zero. Go to effect controls and set keyframe for scale and position. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size. Position at top. Read this last keyframe. Now I will set a keyframe for rotation. Go few frames forward and rotation zero. Select the background video and set keyframe for opacity over here. Go few frames forward and opacity 0. Now go to new item and add black video at bottom.
double click on this in a sequence add a new video over here and just scale and adjust scale width and height let me create a copy of this video by holding alt key or option key on keyboard try it on top go to effects and add grid adjust angle and corner values change blend mode to overlay Go back to main sequence and go to effects. Basic 3D. Set keyframe for civil. Go off your press over and increase the value of civil. Go back to mobile and sequence and add two more videos. Uncheck scale and adjust scale height and width. Now again go back to main sequence and extend this in a sequence like this. Add two more videos over here. Using type tool I am going to add a test. Let me add an arrow image over here. Adjust rotation and scale size. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to and map white to white. Under opacity, select this rectangle tool. Create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go free press over and adjust the mask path like this. Now I am going to create a mask around this character using pen tool. Create a copy of this video, delete the mask from the bottom video, select the top video and set keyframe for mask path. Now go each frame forward and adjust the mask path like this. Or you can select this mask forward option and Premiere Pro will automatically adjust the mask path for you. Now place this video on top. Now I'm going to add a screenshot image over here. I just push it on scale. Set keyframe for position. Go for press over and position down. After that done, select this rectangle shape tool and create a shape like this. Change fill color to white. Create another rectangle box and create a shape like this. Add this position and scale. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. For this test layer, I want this to show one word, then second word, and then third word. So I delete every word except the first word. Now create another copy. Now create a copy of this test layer and add the second word. Again, create another copy and add the third word. After all that done, let me nest all these layers.
Add search bar image into the timeline. Under opacity, select the mask layer. Create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few press forward and it's a mask path like this. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Under opacity, select the rectangle right mask. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few press forward and it's a mask path like this. For the last scene, type tool I'm going to add a test. So the rectangle mask tool and create a shape like this. Change the fill color and let me add some test. I just push it on scale. Next to all these layers, add some videos in timeline. Capacity to 50. Now I'm going to add a mouse pointer image in timeline. I just scale and set key from a position, place it down. Go a few press over and place the mouse pointer over here. Now select this video and I will set a keyframe for opacity over here. Go a few press over, opacity 100. Also, I will set a keyframe for scale. Go a few press forward, increase the scale size. Now, I will set a keyframe for position for these three videos. Go a few press forward and position down. Using rectangle tool, I am going to create a shape like this. Add magnify image in here. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to and map white to white. Nest these two layers. Set keyframe for opacity. Change to 0, go a few press over and opacity 100. Using type tool, I am going to add a test. Under test layer, select this rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Place this mask over here. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few press over and adjust the mask path like this. Let me add a video into the timeline. Set keyframe for scale. Change to zero. Go few press over and increase the scale size. Delete the armor portions. Now, for the captions, using type tool, I'm just adding a test over here. Change font type and size. For this bottom test, add mask and animate it like this. Yeah, and that's it, ladies and boys and girls. Here's another video of how to edit like Devin Jado in Premiere Pro. Check it out. And if you want to know how to delete like bar VFX in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here.
And if you find this video useful, give a like and subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.